DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. A lot of you know he's looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if So the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick-up fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Just out of range with that uppercut. Outstanding knee the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that one. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Sneaky head kicks. One-two punch by Choi. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Just misses with a left hook there. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big kick. Three minutes remain in the round. there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Choi. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. And they separate. Oh, big head kick lands. Good stick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And just misses with that big right hand. Straight right hand, no good. And there comes the separation now. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. 
Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he was landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Just wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, nice right Some hand. nice back and forth action here. 15 seconds to go. Oh, big punch land. Just missed with the left there. Nice straight right lands. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there, throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good enough. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, that one even hurts to watch. Heavy leg kick lands flush. Oh, straight right. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Joy gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Lands an elbow there. Hands up. Big body kick. Come on, bud. Let's get the knee lead. coming to the body, it's blocked. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Look at the force behind that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just misses with the jab. Relax, relax. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice combination of kicks there by the Korean Super Bowl. Three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick and all I can think of, better him than me. Punch. Oh, he's unable to find the target with that uppercut. Now connects with a right. Punch coming, it's blocked. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. 
who blocks the shot. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. He's landed a good uppercut there. Oh, nice high kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee to the body! Wow. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice body kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. All right, single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Time. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. Really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Had him hurt, almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round, I want you to put the pressure on him. Get right in his face. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you gotta really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. All right, let's go. Get that right hand up. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice loop and punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Misses with the left punch there. I mean, he's cutting it down the size with this beautiful leg kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big head kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, you heard him bad with a jab. Head kick. Look at the turtle in that kick. Three minutes to go in round three. Use that low kick. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. They separate. Whiffs on the straight right hand. What a punch. Man. Serve him up. Go get him. Just miss with that right hand.
what a punch. Oh, single collar tie here. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. How about that shin? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. But that punch, no good. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over again. What? Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he is. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the game? A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Knee to the body. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, man. Nice hammer fist. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of a... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. That's it. Oh, nice job by the longer, taller fighter to land a flush knee to the head. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big punch lands through the middle. Connects with the right. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just out of range with the big right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Beautiful level change leads to the take. Down. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's got his back now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Both fighters back to their feet now. Ooh, what a punch. Just misses with the jab there. Oh! Huge right hand! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He won.